Hi everybody, it's Dandruff with your news cartridge for Friday, April 28th, 2017. Welcome to Friday, and I can't wait to play some games this weekend. Today's news begins with a horror game called Perception, which has its release date set for May 30th. It's calling itself a hide-and-seek horror game, and there's a trailer out if you wanted to get a better look at it. Sony has revealed this absolutely stunning-looking Dragon Quest XI themed PS4, releasing on July 29th. Pre-orders for it start tomorrow, but it's currently only available in Japan. In Overwatch news, the 2.11 patch has now rolled out to all three platforms, which includes a new tie-breaking mechanic and fixes a bug affecting Genji's ultimate. And then D.Va has been re-enabled after a bug was discovered yesterday and Blizzard disabled her from use in all regions. It was not mentioned exactly what the bug was, but she's now back on the roster and Blizzard says everything is working fine. Subnautica has gotten an update which adds the ability to create decoys, gives the game a new UI, and finalizes the art for some of the items. For links to patch notes for any of these games, please see the description down below, along with links for sources for all of today's stories. More information about Call of Duty World War 2 has revealed the campaign will ditch the automatic health regen system. Stay tuned to News Cartridge to find out how this game mechanic will be replaced. Moving on to a leaked trailer that not only confirms Joker will be part of Injustice 2, but shows off his moveset as well. If you want to view the whole trailer, there's a link to that down below too. And then another video that explains how the new Nemesis system will work for the upcoming Shadow of War, the sequel to Shadow of Mordor. Once again, links for that are down below too, and Shadow of War releases on August 22nd. Got a bunch of Nintendo news before the main topic today, starting with Nintendo not holding holding a press conference at E3 this year. For the past few years, this has been the standard for Nintendo. And because they're not holding that conference, we can't ask them why Puyo Puyo Tetris is $10 more expensive on Nintendo Switch. Announced today is a new 2DS XL, and unlike the old 2DS, this one will have a screen that folds in on itself. It will launch on July 28th for $149 US dollars, which is roughly 115 British pounds or your regional equivalent. And it will have two color schemes, black and blue, and another in orange and white. I feel like I should have waited to get this one, because because not only do I like the black and blue color scheme better, more than this red burgundy thing, I barely use the 3D anyway. Do you have a 3DS? And how often do you use the 3D function? Let me know in the comments section down below. And finally for Nintendo news, this really cool action figure of Link from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It stands 30 centimeters tall, which is just under a foot, and pre-orders are currently going for 335 US dollars, or your regional equivalent. Don't feel bad, I want one too, but there's no way I could afford that. And that brings us to our final topic today, and what a way to end the week because Anita Sarkeesian's series, Tropes vs. Women in Video Games, is finally over. 21 episodes have been created, each one more ridiculous than the last, including such vital topics as strategic butt coverings, body language and the male gaze, and are women too hard to animate? You know, video game stuff. Her last video posted yesterday is entitled The Lady Sidekick, and in it, Miss Sarkeesian desperately tries to make women look like tools in video games, but I draw a different conclusion. She either doesn't like good game mechanics or Plum doesn't know what they are. Time and time again, she has issues with how video games work, like the summoning of Elizabeth for her powers in Bioshock Infinite is somehow using her as a tool because you press a button to do it. And she contradicts herself by saying all Elizabeth is is a glorified door opener when she has these amazing time traveling powers and gives you guns, ammo, and coins. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know all door openers had shotguns. And then she praises the last guardian of all games because the bird dog thing had a mind of its own, which is something about the game that was heavily criticized because while it is a cool concept and it's amazing that we have the technology to do so, reviews said it was unreliable as fuck and you couldn't always get the bird dog to do what you wanted the bird dog to do. It's clear that Anita has no idea what the fuck she's talking about and I have argued before that she wants a game where the princess saves herself, which in reality is not a game, it's a movie. Go. Go make a movie. Stay the fuck out of my hobby. Remember that this is coming from someone who said this two years before she started this whole tropes versus women thing in 2012. I'm not a fan of video games. I actually had to learn a lot about video games in the process of making this. Now I have been a gamer my whole life and I asked my wife how long she's been a gamer and she said for forever. Not this. I'm not a fan of video games. And then two years later try to change the whole gaming industry. Sounds like someone with an agenda rather than somebody who just wants better video games. Sarkeesian says this may be the end of the Tropes series, but it is not the end of Feminist Frequency. If you would like to see the full last episode for yourself, there is a link for that down below. But what I'm going to say right now is that if you do choose to watch it, you will not get those 11 minutes of your life back. Oh, and wouldn't you know, likes and comments are disabled. How long have you been a gamer? Let me know in the comment section down below, please. Once again, it's time for Monday's game releases, because I'm off for the next two days, because I'm going to try to take the 3D out of this thing.
For PC, Space Odyssey, Evolution Pinball VR, The Summoning, Serious Metal Detecting, Neighboring Islands, Tower in the Sky, Tactics Edition, Clockwise, MMM, Murder Most Misfortunate, Tank Warfare, Tunisia, 1943, Fighter of Evil, Vector Wars, Knights of Galiveth, Roz Call, Brawlers, Nitro, and Clockwise. Thank you very much, everybody. This has been News Cartridge. I am Dandruff. I will see you on Monday. And have you ever visited conjunctivitis.com? It's a site for sore eyes. Somebody's going to hate that joke. Oh, man. Wow. So I tried to stream yesterday, and I fell asleep while rendering. Yeah. Uh, the wife woke me up to, uh, you know, poke me and got me up so I could get up and uh, upload the show. I uploaded it. I was asleep for like 20 more minutes after it had actually posted. Got up, did the end card, and then just went back to sleep. So, woke up early today. Shows up early today. That's good. See what happens when you get up at 6 o'clock and get the show done on time, Dandruff. That's what happens. See? What am I doing with my arms? Um... Yeah, uh, I'm going to try to play something new this weekend. I'm going to play try to play some Tanzia that, uh, like, it's an RPG with new school elements to it, I guess. It's, uh, that, it's a game that kind of looks like WoW, like a single-player WoW experience. I'm going to give it a go tomorrow, uh, probably stream it. Uh, actually, definitely stream it because then it'll meet my key mailer requirements. Um, stream that for a couple of hours, see how that goes, see if I like it. Uh, if I do like it, I'll keep playing Marfit. If I don't like it, I'll go into Rainbow Six Siege. Yay! Um, yeah, so, so, so be sure to follow me on Twitch. Uh, I'm going to definitely be streaming over the weekend. Try, try to do a, a cooking show. Believe it or not, I try to do a cooking show on Saturdays, but uh, I'm just going to change it up this week and just do gameplay. Um, hmm. What else is there? Don't know what else. Going out to dinner tonight. That should be fun. That should be great. Uh, teriyaki chicken. It's on the menu. That's good. Um, should be good. Yeah, I think I, I hope everybody just has a good weekend. Let me know what games you're playing over the weekend. That'd be great to know. Uh, I would really like to have some recommendations. Maybe be able to recommend you a game. Go out and play StarCraft. It's free. We we talked about that last week. That was you know go play StarCraft. It's great, great campaign. First one had a great campaign. I thought the second one had a good campaign too, but the first one has more in it. The first one covers way more. Uh, I'd say the the like StarCraft two, the three games in and of itself covered about as much in the first StarCraft, not including Brood War. There's way more that happened in the original StarCraft than in StarCraft 2. Uh, it doesn't say that StarCraft 2 story I thought was bad. It's just not, not as much there. Just not as much. So uh, what else is there? Anything else going on? I don't think of anything off the top of my head. So I'm just going to say goodbye. Social media links are over here. They are also in the top of the description down below. Click over here to... That, that was a thing. Click over here to subscribe to my wonderful motorcycle channel and click over here to watch uh, yesterday's episode where we talked about uh, Roger the Kangaroo being removed from Tekken 7 because of animal activists and I think it's bullshit because it's just a fucking fictional kangaroo. Nobody's hurt. Bye! Go play some games. Bye.